hey, the snow is great. We got plenty of it. We're riding into the beginning of February. It's fantastic that gods have answered our prayers. What we're gonna do today is we're gonna go out and evaluate a couple of our machines. We're gonna hit the trail on our XC129 and our Polaris Assault. Both fantastic snowmobiles. What we're gonna do is we're gonna compare track length. These are both 850s. We're just gonna go out and run them, jump from sled to sled, give you guys our feedback. Polaris is XC129. Had a chance now to get out and ride this thing in some snow. And with the 150 storm track, which is an inch and a half in the center, this thing is pretty amazing in the deep snow. I was uh, pleasantly surprised how well this thing went through the snow. It's no RMK, but it's still pretty fun to ride in the deep powder. New for the XC is the new Pro Ride CC suspension, which it's coupled now, which that allows you to have weight transfer and still keep the skis high and it still be light and playful. This sled on the trails, rocket ship. I mean, we have the 850 Patriot motor in this one, and I mean, it's, <laughs> it's a good time. I mean, everybody gets on one of these, definitely enjoys the ride. You know, both the Assault and the XC, uh, the Ergo's the way you sit on them, the way they handle, they feel so similar. The little longer track now on the Assault does bridge the bumps better. You're definitely gonna get better flotation, so if you are really getting off trail and getting into some cool, nasty stuff, the Assault is gonna be a little nicer. It's not gonna wheelie up as easy because it's gonna wanna lay flatter and float across the snow better. I like to enjoy trail riding as well as hopping off and doing some off-trail riding as well. Um, jumping on and off the both the XC129 and the Assault 144 today, um, you know, it's, you can't really tell the difference on the trail. I mean, you think the extra track on the 144, you'd notice it, but they're still, still smooth sled. Um, a lot of guys might worry that they're not able to ride as aggressive on a 144 that you could on a 129. You can still hammer the bumps, rail the corners, basically do everything on the groom trail as well as off trail, which that's where this sled really shines. Riding in the Midwest, these are the two fattest sleds on snow. These sleds are so good that you almost want two. For an all around sled for me, definitely pick the Assault 144. It gets on and off the trail. I mean, off the trail, it does not struggle at all. And groom trail, you don't even realize that it's a 144. Bottom line is, if you want to ride the trails, hit the bumps, and still do a little off trail, this XC is a very good snowmobile. If you're a little more 50-50 crossover, want to go play out in the powder, then I guess I'd probably choose the Assault. <laughs>